closer attack in front. She leads by five. The crowning of a horse of the year has sometimes been a coronation of bloodlines. Ten times in the history of the award has the winner been a son or daughter of a previous Horse of the Year champion. One of the most celebrated transfers of racing royalty came in 1986 with a daughter of Secretariat. Lady Secret has the lead by two. Lady Secret on the outside. Ladies Secret. The year before, Lady Secret had already established a reputation as an Iron Lady. She started 17 times with 10 wins at age three. Then in 86, she ran another 15 times, including 13 grade ones. She won eight of them. I honestly don't know what the record number for grade ones in a year is, but eight's got to be very close. And here is a brilliant champion, Lady Secret, another flawless performance. Lady Secret capped off that season with an emphatic victory in the Breeders' Cup distaff, leaving trainer D. Wayne Lucas supremely confident. And it's not horse of the moment, but horse of the year. This one is horse of the year, January to January, pound for pound. I don't think there's anybody that can dispute it. Lucas proved correct, as Lady Secret not only became the fifth female horse of the year, but the first Breeders' Cup winner to capture the award. She'd be the first of many of those, but she's still in very elite company when it comes to the horse of the year family tree. She's one of only two winners to come from a sire and a grandsire that won the award. In her case, Secretariat and Bold Ruler. Can you name the other? <laughs> 